Hey, no family. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Your girl is back with another video. And for today's set, I really, really wanted to do a like plain set, but then add like bling all over the nails, like different colors, shapes, and sizes. So that is what we're going to be going for in today's look. Currently, I have one nail house size 3XL tapered square tips. I'm also using their size 16 Kaleski brush pair it with their pro monomer and anyone interested in shopping nail house can find the link to their site in the description below and use my code Portia for savings i'm also going to be using me and secrets color pink acrylic which is this nude right here for the entirety of this set pretty much so every single nail will be um this color and without any further ado i'm pretty much gonna let you all go ahead and enjoy watching the application and i'll be popping back in in a bit also, though, before I go, I want to mention that this look was inspired by a nail artist by the name of Angie's Claws. Love, love, love her work. And when I saw that set, I'm like, just absolutely gorgeous. I had to recreate. Also, just really quickly, I wanted to pop back in to say, ignore the red gel on my other like nails or on my nails in general. Um, at this point in time here in this video, I had just got done doing a, another set. It was this black and red Valentine's set. Shout out to the ones who watched it. I posted it about two weeks ago. And yes, I know. It's been a while since I've been on here. I definitely have missed you all, which I was going to point out um, like as well. It's definitely been a while and I totally miss you all. But yes, that is from the red and black set that Valentine's set I had just did previous to this one. Um, this day I had did three videos like in one day. So I did that Valentine jean set. I did the black and red Valentine set and this one here as well. I've been away for a while because I've been just, well, at a point I was out of town for like a week or so. And then when I came back, I was swamped with press one orders and just like, just busy doing a whole lot of things, like a whole lot of, whole lot of. And the girl has been overwhelmed and I have not been able to film any videos. Although I have not posted here in two weeks, um, I have i haven't also filmed a video in a month. So, yeah. But um, going back to the nails real quick, as you all can see, I did take some silver gel because I wanted to do like some like peekaboo like nails for underneath the nails like i want it to be silver glitter and i totally forgot to do it on the pinky nail so that so i just went ahead and like kind of painted that underneath the pinky one but i stopped for a moment i went ahead and painted the other ones this shine this shiny like um holographic silver glitter is super cute love it it's a glitter i got from a glitter gel i got from amazon but yeah, and then I'm moving on now with continuing the application. But yeah, you all, I haven't been on here in a while. I haven't been working or like filming any YouTube videos in a while. But I'm back now and I'm just doing the best that I can. Also, I recently had went live. It was, well, by the time you all see this, it would have been two days ago. But for me, current day, it's a day ago. Last night, I went live. I actually went live twice last night. I unboxed some nail house. I unboxed their new easter basket collection a super beautiful collection if you all haven't um like seen that or checked it out if you want to check out the video as well as maybe check out just the products on their site nail house again is linked in the description below but i unboxed their new easter basket collection with these beautiful spring colors um also some new nudes that they had as well and then some and then i also unboxed a not polished box as well that was super nice super nice live really enjoyed it with you all and i appreciate all of you who came out and hung out well i did so and then i went live after that shortly and did a set with the new colors that from um nail house's new easter basket collection so yeah if you haven't you know seen those lives or was there or just seen them in general they are available on my channel to watch as a playback under the live tab but for now i'm not going to talk any longer i'm going to let you all go ahead and finish enjoying the application and I'll be popping back in to see more in a bit.
Alrighty y'all, so this is how we're looking with the application complete, loving it. Next I'm going to move on into shaping and filing the nails. I do, for those of y'all who are new, I do have a full in-depth shaping tutorial on my channel for y'all to check out if you're interested, but we're going to just kind of zoom past this here. I also do have a like couple application videos as well for y'all to check out too because I don't really go in depth every single video about those things but I do have some those videos in the description below and some other ones that are very helpful that could be very helpful that a lot of people ask about so just check the description you'll find a few videos there but yes I'm gonna be using my 88 grit file my hand file I like to hand file I don't care to use the e-file to file the surface of the nails like the entire you know like surface of the nails i like to use my hand file but i do go in with my e-file to pretty much like do the cuticles of course seal them and i like to file the tips of my nails straight with them with the e-file as well i am using my melody Susie's dust collector and um i also am or as you all can see i have a little sheet on top of it it's a hack i got from genie i have to shout her out always the nail genie sc put me on to that hack where pretty much you put a dryer sheet over your dust collector where it will catch like all of the dust pretty much and it doesn't get in the dust collector and you can like pretty much like preserve your dust collector and you just pick it up toss it out when you're done i can say that i do like to start with filing the surface of the nails followed by underneath the sides then the actual sides of the nails then of course sealing the cuticles then filing the tip straight pretty much that's my technique every single time and yeah also i do want to mention because we were talking about nail house's new easter basket collection i wanted to get into that real quick nail house's new easter basket collection consists of seven different acrylic powders they're like pastel colors and they all have a shimmer in them they're so cute and they are available as individuals for 15 dollars per one ounce jar or you can get the entire collection for i think it's like 95 dollars you get like a 10 percent not 10 percent 10 dollar discount a little bit over 10 dollar discount when you get the full collection it's available it dropped a couple days ago by the time you all see this and it's so cute and they again they dropped it along with five new nude acrylics um that I, and, I, and you all will see in that live video i swatched them all they're all so beautiful but they all are now available and you all can use my code Portia for savings um, with shopping Nail House. Also, another thing is that they're all available in four ounce as well, which I absolutely love. Like, I don't know about you all, but sometimes I can't get enough and I have to have four ounces of certain colors. But yeah, y'all. Anyway, so for these nails, I wanted to do the moon shape. And by the way, too, when I am filing using the e-file, I do pretty much always use my 5-in-1 carbide bit that I got from Amazon. It's the brand Panna. But I did want to do the moon shape, and this is pretty much how I do it. Um, I take, you know, the e-file and take the drill bit, and I pretty much go at the free edge of the nails, and I kind of like, you know, press it in there and go back and forth, back and forth in an arch type of motion to begin creating that, like, curve. That's what it's called, like, moon shape, they call it. But, like, that little curve at the tip, if you all can see that. But... I'm gonna do that, but the nails clean them and all that good stuff so that we can move on into the design part. Now, this video is a little bit quicker today than my normal videos because I just did a plain nude and then did bling all over the rest of the nails, you know, like, and that's pretty much it. But I hope you all are enjoying so far and I hope you all enjoy.
Alrighty, y'all. So this is the shape. I'm absolutely loving it. I love the moon shape, but I only like it on certain sets. But I absolutely love it. So next, I'm going to go ahead and bump the nails and clean them and all those good things like I was telling you all. And then we're going to move on into all of this bling. Alrighty, y'all. So let's get into my favorite part. By the way, what I sprayed on the nails was alcohol because I get the question sometimes in the comments. It was just alcohol. But now we're going to get into the balloon. By the way, I don't know how my pinky busts out that glove, but ignore that. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull out um, a ton of different balloon colors that I want to include in this mix. Um, like I told you, well, I'm going to mix it up and apply in different colors, shapes, sizes, all that good stuff. I wanted to give like treasure chest. Like I wanted to give that. So I'm just going to be pulling out the colors that I'm going to be using randomly. And then I'm going to apply them randomly to the nails. Also, again, I have not forgot about you all in the video I'm supposed to be making. With showing you all different like color, shapes, and sizes of um, like Swarovski crystals or just crystals in general. I know it was hard for me in the beginning to, you know, like when looking and shopping for crystals to know what color I wanted or how they, the color looked or the size I wanted and the shapes and what, you know, the names of them were, all those kind of things. Um, the only reason why that video isn't out yet is because I've been making like small little like um, orders from Sky Bees, which is where I get my crystals from. And I want to make sure that I'm just done completely buying crystals and I pretty much am but it's like I'll buy a couple more than a couple more than a couple more and it's like I'm prolonging the video but I'm like putting it off pretty much so that I can wait but I only I want to buy a couple of more different colors crystals that is going to be soon appear like in the upcoming like week or so um and then I promise you all I'm going to have the video out for you all I promise I promise I promise Alrighty, so these are the crystals that I decided to pull out and we're going to begin um, along with the AB crystals here that's on the side. I just left them, you know, in the tray, but so that we don't have too much going on on the desk, but those are the crystals that we have so far and I'm going to go ahead and top coat the nails so that I can begin applying all the crystals on top and I'm pretty much going to let you all go ahead and watch this process and I'll pop again afterward. Also though, before I go, the top coat that I'm using is Dynamic Nail Supplies Top Coat and I'll also be using McCart's Rhinestone Glue to apply all of the crystals. So this is how looking pre bling and glam and all of that y'all i'm obsessed with this can y'all see like just how beautiful this color like alone is this acrylic like that's why this is my go-to nude this is so beautiful i'll wear these nails just like this like it's so beautiful also when's the last time you off wore a like plain set of nails like when's the last time I definitely would wear a plain set of nails with just, just this color right here. Like, I love, love, love this nude so much.
Alrighty y'all, this is how they turned out. I think they came out so freaking beautiful. I love you so much y'all, I'm literally obsessed. These are, and I know I say this all the time, but these are one of the, like my most favorite sets I've done recently, like recently. These are just so cute y'all. Like these hold a special, a different special place in my heart. Like so sticking cute, love the bling, love the different shapes, sizes and colors. Um, and I was gonna put them on my right hand for some time, but I had went out of town and it just didn't really work out. But these are just so freaking cute. And the good thing about it is that I can put them on whenever I decide to. Like, since these are pop off, I can just wear them whenever I feel like it. But yeah, y'all, these are really, really, really stinking cute. I really hope you all enjoy this process. Love, love, love the way they look in low lighting as well. And I love the like silver holographic glitter pinkaboo not pinkaboo peekaboo underneath the nails so cute man like these are so cute it's given a very much treasure treasure chest i love it so much y'all they're so cute um and somebody just commented on instagram because i posted these already i always post my videos first on instagram and then i upload them here like the full tutorial but somebody commented i think her name was tanaya i just looked she said this was the treasure they were looking for on the backyard again <laughs> i thought that was so funny um i used to love 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 that show as a child um the backyard again is one of my favorite childhood shows like and um and speaking of ironically and unfortunately the the creator of the show the backyard again i saw the other day a few a few days ago that she had passed away and that's so sad i'm so sorry and rest in peace to her but shout out to her for creating one of a lot of ours uh favorite childhood shows and if you don't remember the backyard again that means you're too young which is okay <laughs> i'm 23 and i definitely remember the backyard again that was my show but anyway anyway i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did and love these notes as much as i do don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below comment if you made it this far in into the video comment some diamond emojis in the comment section below so that way i know you watch the video all the way through and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on your bell notifications so that you're notified each and every single time i post a new video stay tuned because i'll have all the spring looks coming soon um and then also like i said earlier if you didn't catch my first spring look um of the year the live i had the other night that video is available on my channel on the live tab you can check it out thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye for now